What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to go over the BNB chain and the, I'm sorry, the BSC chain and the BNB coin. Right now we're sitting on a coin gecko just to go over these things. I want to tell you why I think it's going to be a great coin in the future. And it's like a no lose situation when it comes to the BNB coin. Let's jump into this. So the BNB coin right now is sitting at number four overall. Okay, number four during the bear market. I want you guys to understand that it's sitting at number four. Okay, all the other coins besides BTC and Ethereum have fallen back. XRP is now at number seven. Dogecoin number eight. And the and the reason why is because if you look at these coins, seven, eight, and nine. People are holding on to these coins. Polygon, people are not letting go of these coins. The BNB coin, though, is a business. It's working hard. Not only do people hold on to it and they don't get rid of it, but the BNB coin, the BSC chain, is uh, number two only behind Ethereum and the DeFi. Okay, behind that is Tron, Arbitrum, Polygon, Avalanche. Okay. In my opinion, these coins here are going to be the strong coins for the next bull run because I believe that DeFi is going to be even bigger and people are going to be using these coins to do what they need to do. And so let's jump out of this real quick. And what I want to look at right now is kind of like a historical chart of where BNB has been going over the past years. OK, so BNB is sitting at two hundred and seventy four dollars rank number four okay and it started it's when bnb came out it was like cents i think it was like 15 cents here you go uh 15 cents it started on in june of 2017 okay as we go down i want to show you this this is very important this right here is a bnb monthly returns over the years ever since it came out so when you look at these coins there are sometimes you feel like the coin that you are holding is not doing good, but check this out. On average, during January's BNB makes 10.8%. February's 88.4%. March, 18.6%. April, 37.2%. And May is a down month, negative 2.48%. And June, negative 11.6%. Now, if you guys can see this and look at this, August, in August, the average is around 335%. Now, this is just the average that it put up. When you do the median, it's a bit different. It's going to be lower. It's going to make a little bit more sense because sometimes, you know, you're not making 50% in one month. But even when you look at the mediums, who can you, how could you complain of making 18% in one month? on a coin that you didn't have any risk? You put the coin in your wallet, you let it sit there and you held it or you went and used it in DeFi and you made more money. Um, but, you know, with everything going on, I got to tell you, just be careful with DeFi because, you know, people are still in coins. People are doing whatever they can to get their hands on your stuff. OK, so when we look at the chart, what I'm looking at is that um, now this blue line right here, let me move this out the way. This was 2019. So I'll come back to that right there. So what we're looking at is that BNB has been hitting around $219. It has a support here. It's touched it multiple times, you know, but the problem with touching something multiple times, is eventually it will break through it. So we're trying to find out right now. We're waiting to see if B, uh, BNB coin is going to break under this $219 support line that it has. Um, or if it's going to follow this 0.618 Fibonacci on the way up, because it hit it here, it hit it here. It likes a 0.61 um, Fibonacci. And the way my chart works is we're on a daily chart over the long time span. And so each candle is a day. All right. So the way my chart works is as this 0.618 Fibonacci moves slightly up, uh, the, the um, candles the coin usually likes to hang around that 0.618 Fibonacci and it uses that as a support before breaking under. So even if it rides this 0.618 Fibonacci up a little higher and breaks under, it would just be using that one as a support and the um, $2.19 as a major support. 
because a major support is what been hit multiple times and this would be like a minor support all right so i hope you guys um understand that so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the past okay so this this blue line here is what i took so this is 2019 so right now is equivalent to the end or the beginning of 2019 the end of 2018 so basically 2022 would be would be 2018 2023 would be equivalent to 2019 so this right here is january of 2019 okay now this line here is the having in 2020 all right so now this blue line i have this vertical blue line right here is um april of 2024 because that's where i believe the having will be so i'm lining up this having with the past having okay so this is not i'm showing you guys where i believe things can go how things may look um but this doesn't mean anything i'm just showing you guys um uh, what my opinion is and i'm also going to tell you guys how i feel about it what i'm going to do uh, to save, you know, just in case it doesn't go this route and it falls a bit lower. So what I can see is if we do 2019 and we're using this 2000, this $219 as support, I can see it dropping down and then coming back up. I lined this up with the last halving. So this is just like the last halving. It obviously it's not going to do the same thing. Okay. So I already know that the past is not the future. I understand that. But also if there's a road laid out, why wouldn't you follow the road? So we're going with following the road that's already laid out, and this is that road. So if we hit the if we hit this two two hundred nineteen and we and we stay down here for a little bit, this would be the uptrend that may um, come about after. Now I don't believe uh, I believe it was going to be more like this. Okay, if we do something like this, this is the worst case scenario, I believe. I mean, we, actually, the worst case scenario would be here, $39. But um, let's hope that doesn't happen. But um, if we drop under this 219, we could have more support at $136. So if you're putting $10 in at $219, so if you're putting in $10 a week, and you know, and your average, your average is $209 or $275 a coin, if we drop 50% under that and we drop to around 130 then you want to up that to 200% 215% 220% so now you're putting $25 a week or $22 a week so that's how you negate that drop that happens okay cuz this is nothing but a 50% drop and i can easily see that happening okay i'm not saying it will but you know when when we look at the whole market Okay, because BNB is such a big coin, if we look at the whole market, the whole market right now is is falling. Okay, this is the S and P five hundred. This is where we're at now. Okay, so the whole market is feeling good because we just today the CPI numbers came out came out seven point one. You know, people are feeling good because we're under. But but in the long run, look at this we're still in the downtrend so don't let it fool you don't let it fool you btc is still in a downtrend right now because everything else is in a downtrend all right so i hope you guys like this information i do see bnb either staying at 219 or dropping down um hopefully not down to 130 dollars but if it does that's the next major support line based on where we actually accumulated here OK, but we could bounce off this point one uh, point five Fibonacci and we could actually just hover around this point six one eight falling below it and coming under just like this. OK, it doesn't matter on because we're at the end of the day, we're we're moving upwards. OK, we're coming to a time where BNB is going to be moving upwards. It's just a matter of time. This lines up with what's been happening. The only difference is, is we didn't fall here like we did here because bnb &B is so strong so that's the difference if we keep going sideways either we're gonna move up and keep going or we're gonna drop down a little bit and move up and keep going but at the end of the day bnb &B is one of the strongest coins out there um now this could be causing 
some of the stuff. So Binance is changed daily BTC withdrawals are topping 500 million right now. And it actually they said something about it topping, um, going up to around 2 billion because what I believe is that the BNB chain, the BSC chain is being attacked. I, I believe that they're being attacked by banks. I believe that they're being attacked by um, people who want to see crypto fail. And, be, and CZ is the only person we have left and they're attacking him. Um, but I don't think you guys have anything to worry about. It's always best to keep your crypto off the exchanges. I understand I have crypto on Binance too. And um, I need to take some of that off. But, you know, sometimes I buy it and leave it on there. It's best that you do take it off. But if you're going to keep it on, keep enough on so you're not going to be bothered if you lose it. All right. I think that's it. I think that's everything I had to show you guys. So I hope you guys like this information. Hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the future.